YouTube, how's it going? My name is Jared from Jay White Media. Welcome to Jay White Reviews, Veronica Mars. Um, this past week, uh, the Veronica Mars movie came out in theaters. It's um, it's about just under two hours. It's an hour and forty eight minutes or an hour and forty five minutes long. Um, for the for those of you that don't know, Veronica Mars was a TV show back about ten years ago. Um, 2004, I think it ended, and uh, it follows Veronica Mars, who uh, is the daughter of the town's sheriff at the time, and when he gets ousted from the office um, for accusing the town's most popular citizen and most well-known citizen of murder for Veronica's best friend... Um, he becomes a private eye and she starts doing private eye work with him to try and find her best friend's killer. Uh, now this movie takes place about 10 years, uh, I believe they say in the movie, nine years after the actual um, events of the last season of Veronica Mars. So they're returning for their high school reunion and it starts out with another murder. Um, Veronica is now well removed from that scene. She's living in New York, um, going to law school, trying to find a job with a law firm. And then all the craziness of the movie ensues. Um, what I have to say about it right now, first and foremost, if you are a fan of this show back when it was on, you will love this movie. It's absolutely great. It, it's just, it brings you right back to the world of Neptune, um, which is the town that they live in, in, in the show. It brings you right back to Neptune. It bring, gives you the feel of the show immediately. It, it starts with a two-minute montage of, two- or three-minute montage of basically telling the backstory of what happened in the seasons in in the original TV show. And it just transports you right back into it. It's um, If you've been away from the series for a while and haven't watched it in a long time, you immediately re remember things about it. And you immediately get back into the mood of Veronica Mars. Um... This movie does a really good job with bringing all the original cast back. You know, you've still got Kristen Bell. You've got you've got Mac, same actors playing Mac. You've got Wallace back. You've got Dick back. You've got Logan back. Um, just everyone you loved in the in the series is back, and it imme it immediately makes the movie better because you can tell. They've still got that chemistry from 10 years ago, and it just works. Um, if you were not a fan of the show, or if you didn't watch the show back in the day, um, I'd still say to see this movie, it's, it's a great one-shot. As I said, it has the three minutes at the beginning telling the whole story and explaining what's happening and who these characters are. And then the rest of the movie is just a really interesting private eye movie and with some great comedy in it. I laughed really hard through quite a bit of this movie. It's, um, yeah, it was just really well done. Um, it's a revolutionary idea as well because it was funded by the it was funded by the fans, made for the fans, and everyone who worked on the movie really wanted it to happen. They, Kristen Bell and the entire cast were really pushing for this movie to be made, and they got it made. Um, had a $6 million budget, or $5.5 million, around those numbers, uh... It's only playing in select theaters, so if it is in a theater 
near you, go see it. Um, if not, they've got it on iTunes. They put it on iTunes the same day it opened. Um, I'd suggest buying it and and watching it, or if it's available to rent, I'd still say buy it and watch it, because it's just a really good movie. Um, really solid, fun, entertaining movie. Uh, you still get the feel and the mood of the of the world and you still get the recognizability of the characters um, yeah I can't say much more than that it's just a it's just a really fun movie you know really entertaining and brings you right back into that world um, I was surprised by how much of the show I remembered because I haven't watched it in about, I think the last time I actually went back and rewatched some of Veronica Mars was about five years ago, six years ago maybe, and I remembered things from the TV show just by watching the movie. And yeah, it's it's a fun time. It's not a perfect movie by any means, um, but for what it for what it is, it's very low budget. It was. It was comedy heavy. There was great, great uh, comedic scenes in there. Um, great witty banter and uh, quick little jokes in there. And there is a bit of suspense. There is a bit of, you know, there's the detective element of it. There, it was just a well-rounded movie. Really good. I did a review of it on on my Tumblr, and. Uh, I believe I gave it an 8 or an 8.5 um, out of 10. It's just a really solid movie uh, for what, for the genre and for what it is. So see it, watch it, love it. Um, great job by Kristen Bell and the rest of the cast. Congrats to the whole crew. Um, I hope it makes money. I hope it, it leads to something more. And, yeah, enjoy it. Thanks thanks for listening. This has been my review of Veronica Mars um, 2014. And, uh, yeah, remember, media matters. Keep watching. Have a good one.